Page 66, it came upon a midnight clear. Again, we got more practice than 6-8 time. But now they're adding some other little challenges in here for you. Okay, let's talk about the right hand first. Right at the beginning, you're starting out with your thumb on a G. Now you got to stretch out a little bit to get your little finger on the E. Just follow their finger numbers, they go. See, the second finger is playing a B first time, but then at the end of the measure, that same finger is playing an A. So, just be ready for that kind of stuff. It's going to get more and more of that as we advance through the book. In the last measure in the third line, okay, you're starting out with the second finger on A, and then on the second C, they want you to change and put your third finger on it to play that. This is common in music, and I, I would encourage you to get good at this. Like that. You may have to look down for a while when you make that change. Eventually, you want to be able to make it without looking at the keyboard. Okay. That's really about all the trickiness, because the, the second line has similar to the first line, so get the first line and you've pretty much got it. In the left hand, you're starting out with the, see this is in C major, right? So you got the one chord and the four chord, one chord. And then the last measure of the first line, you go move the hand up, put your fourth finger on the F, third finger on F sharp, and then you can play that. The second line. Big deal, right? And then you gotta go down to the one chord again. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Eventually you want to get where you can do it without looking at the keyboard. So if you have to look down, fine, but don't look down much, okay? This has phrasing in it, as most of the others, and I haven't spoken about phrasing for a while, but it, I could have. Uh, but we want to hear a little silence between the phrases, all right? So in the last two measures of the first line, you're the, we want some silence between before that last G. In the second line, first measure, we want some silence between the D and the G. So it sounds like a different sentence. There's lots of recordings of this, so you get an idea how it feels. We're going to play it slowly, though. I'm going to leave the metronome at 70, though, because we're beating eighth notes. Now, this does have one pickup beat, but the last measure has five counts in it, so we're still okay. we got six total. So I'm going to give you five counts, and we're going to start. Thumb on G and your little finger on E, so you're ready to go there. And the left hand is the one chord. Okay. One, two, three, four, go. Five. 